Good morning, everybody. We're here in Meadow Coders in Rancho. Just got done with some home time. Uh, took half a Friday off, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, did some stuff, went to like San Diego, went to see movies, just spent time with the fam. So, uh, and I had to get some things done. Problem with flatbed is a lot of the stuff you need to get done, like dental, eye care, you know, stuff like that are Monday through Friday. So usually I like to go home for a 34, but when I need to get, you know, those things done, I need to get a Monday or a Friday off. So the plan was try to get home Friday morning or Friday afternoon. But uh, with that Van Nuys load, trying to get in and trying to get out, I didn't get to the yard till about noon. So there was no possibility. Uh, plan is just to run hard here in the next couple weeks. I might try to go home again about two weeks for Mother's Day, but I have a graduation for my cousin also a week after that. So I don't know if I'm just going to stay on the road or not, but we'll see how it goes. Um, this load's going to SLC like always. Did my first video here. Um, I practically go here or steel escape all the time. So uh, the only issue with here at Metal Coders is a lot of the times Prime will send you a load and it's in a back and Prime doesn't tell them that they're coming uh, for pickup for today. So we're gonna be here for about 30 minutes, which is fine. Uh, the good news is we're ahead of the videos finally. It took me about almost a month or two. I was behind a week. So from here on out, all these videos are gonna be updated. Um, we're gonna do pretty good videos from here on out. I got some ideas I wanna do uh, that you guys wanna see that I've got information from. So. Uh, starting today, we're going to do some really cool videos. Um, think about also getting a, a drone. So that is in the works, uh, is a drone. Uh, we'll see when that will happen, but we'll see. So we're going to wait here. I'm going to get some breakfast, and hopefully we'll get loaded here pretty quickly and get out of here. All right, you guys, we just got our load. Uh, it's 10, 10 coils. We're going to have to use 240, these 24-foot-longs. Uh, I haven't used both in a long time. Yeah. This middle one hasn't been used a lot. Uh. So much dirt on these things. So we did is, um, as you can see these coils right here, uh, they'll tell you the weight. These are 2,000, 1,000, 1,000. 2000 these are about five this one's high seven that's why i put two straps on this one this one's also five same thing here uh you could put a trip strap like you did in the front but this thing only weighs like a uh, thousand four hundred seventy two so that's how it should look front's low back will fix it okay so this. All right, so. Where are you, baby? through here I think. Oh, 
Gotta go back. One right there. You pull it a little way through. Okay. Then you turn around. You stick it back through the bottom one. Uh huh. down on here. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. okay. So what we're gonna do is gotta find a thing to hold these. But for now my buddy Scott uses a uh, a uh, pouch where you put them in there you can take them out and you can pull them in you can do all that. So I don't have anything like that right now. But what essentially you're gonna do is this all under, pull down, and hook. Like I said, it's gonna take a little time because I'm doing this my first time. And I'll show you guys. So what I'll do is um, I'll show my uh, trainer uh, if I did it right or, or not. And then he'll tell me.
good morning everybody we're here in uh, Littlefield Arizona we sit in out here this is one of my favorite truck stops out here uh, Littlefield has a place called Yardley's one of the best burgers I've had top five best burgers uh, they also have uh, you see Krispy Kreme donuts also so I uh, got that for breakfast uh, we're about five and a half hours away from NBCI from here uh, with the hour forward, we should be there by 12.30, 1 o'clock the latest. We'll get this load dropped off. I'll get it on this week's paycheck. Hopefully get a CC load. So, um, as you guys saw, I used the bungee rope. But uh, it's not riding the greatest because of what the coils are. It is pretty bad, as you guys can see. Um, just the different heights and stuff. But... Hopefully in the future, these bungees are gonna be a lot easier. Uh, I think these kind of loads are a little harder uh, to do it, but still work in progress on it. Um, but like anything you do out here, you know, you're not gonna get good at something pretty quick. So um, we're gonna check the load. We're gonna do a quick pre-trip. I did one uh, last night. So in the morning, I do a really quick one. Just make sure nobody messes with my trailer and uh, I didn't get hit or anything. So uh, we're gonna do that and we're gonna roll out of here. Hopefully get to NBC up by like 12 30, 1 o'clock the latest. Guys, I forgot to do a video on the coils where I messed up. As you guys can see, these two gold ones should put one way in the back and one way in the front and just flip these. So like if I move this gold one, move these three to the center, that would have been good. Same thing here. I would just flip those two. That one and that one. And it would have been a nice, perfect tarp. I didn't realize until he started putting a couple on. I go, oh, shoot. But he did all right. But uh, they're back from lunch. I should be done in about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, unstrapping it and then I'm going to put my D part in. What's up everyone? We are here in Centralia, Washington. Uh, it's been raining on and off today. Uh, I woke up around 2.30 West Coast time. I was still on um, Mount Time in uh, Oregon. So our appointment was for 12. It's going to be about 10. Well, I want to say 10.30. Yeah, it's 10.30 right now. Uh, we're a little early, so... Uh, I told my dispatcher I'd get here by 11, so. A um, lot of memories are here uh, in this area. So I met Will Deadman, if you guys watch his YouTube, uh, Freight Skater. Uh, I, he was the one that I followed for Flatbed. And I met him out here at the Loves. Um, and our, my TNT trainer, we delivered to Lowe's. Uh, during training so that was the last time i've been here was during tnt training so i haven't been here in a while and i don't remember how to get in so but it shouldn't be too hard uh this load actually did pretty well uh, i know i didn't do a video on it i'll do it when we get there uh because when we got to cedar city or when i got to cedar city i was just trying to strap it quickly and get out on the road and guess we need to go to bed i was really worn out i had about a 13 hour day when i got there so uh, i didn't do a video of how i strapped it but i'll do it here uh let's see. uh the truck stop i did stay at was the pilot right there on the border of idaho in oregon it had pretty decent uh mexican food uh, it was not too bad. So, uh, a couple of my buddies told me to stay there, and it actually worked out because I had like five minutes left on my clock to drive. So, I could have went further if I didn't go to the terminal. So I was still waiting to, if they're going to give me an appointment or not. So, I was assuming that this, knowing what Lowe's is, they don't move appointments or they don't have available ones. So, if you get a seven o'clock appointment, and you ask for another one, they're gonna tell you next week, usually. So the fact is they actually moved it was surprising. I thought I was gonna leave it at the yard and get a new load. 
so pretty uh pretty shocked so i actually went out around a little bit because if you guys take the 15 you don't have to exit and go around to the terminal uh but i did just because in my gut i thought they were uh going to tell me to drop it because they were taking forever and i told my dispatcher if i don't hear from him when i left cc at like four in the morning i said if i don't hear from you when i get to the terminal i'm i'm leaving at the yard but once I got to the yard, he said, hold on for another couple minutes. And they actually did change the appointment. So uh, the only bad news I'm gonna get is if Lowe's is like, we don't know about this appointment movie. I'll be really pissed. <laughs> so I'm almost certain this truck right here in front of me is a systems truck. Uh, they're the ones that do all the deliveries for our Lowe's. I don't know all the locations, but they do a lot that I know of. So he's probably the one that's going to, I'm probably going to follow in. I'm just trying to remember when's the last time I've been to this Lowe's. This looks familiar. And I feel like I've been here on my own once. Let's see, make a right on Robert Thomas Road. Uh, most of you guys know that work for Prime and uh, do CC loads. When you get a, a Lowe's DC, it's always a lot of mixed crap. So like this load, I put like 18 or 19 straps. Uh, when I met with Scott a couple months ago, he went to a Lowe's, he put like 20. Uh, they put these little tiny pipes, big pipes. It's just a mixture of everything. So they're a little sketchy to drive. But these are one of the one of the loads you'll see me over secure. I actually throw more straps than I should. Because I don't trust it. They're really high. A lot of small pieces. Let's go this way. But as you guys know, winter is over and I'm excited. That's why I took this load to Washington. I was really happy to go over cabbage with no winter. I don't mind this rain. Um, I really love coming out here to Oregon, Washington. It's one of my favorite places to pick up and deliver, but not during winter time. Winter time, it's avoid Oregon, Washington, Wyoming area. So, um, yeah, if you guys seen Utah and everywhere else, all the snow is melting. Cabbage, I Cabbage had probably four feet of snow on the side of the freeway once I went up there once and I just drove through there and there's no snow at all on the side of the freeway so there's a Ryerson I don't know if we pick up from here it looks brand new this is a Ryerson oh shoot I'm wondering if we were picked up from here even though I hate Ryerson oh, it's right there okay. let's see if this system driver is going to go to Lowe's 0.3 miles, make a ride. I'll follow you in, driver. More likely. Let's see right here. Yep. Knew it. See how you make this right turn? You don't get in the right lane. Always oh, stay here. You gotta watch for cars on your right. They will sneak in. Oh yeah, let's go straight. Oh yeah, I've been to this Lowe's. You go right and you go all the way around and it's on your left, there's a secure. I've been here on my own too, okay. Yeah, I remember this. And it's pretty cool because then you can park right next to the guard shack. Yeah, I've been here. So this is probably my second time in here. One's my trainer and one with me. I don't know why I never saved this location. These guys were awesome. I don't know if I did a YouTube video on here, but this was the load they like actually found like two bundles missing. But they didn't give me shit for it. They just marked on there, it was like missing. Yeah. And they load you, once you get the gate guard, they load you to the right. Awesome.
We are here. Let's read the directions when we get in there. I don't remember if we back in and wait or we actually check in at the gate. I think that system guy's supposed to check in. You get it. Guys, here's the load. We did three straps there. Uh, you see these little tiny ones right here? Uh, I put two, because this middle strap is for the other side, but I kind of moved it here to get pressure down on there. You can do one strap. Uh, or you can do two, uh, those two foot straps, the tiny ones that you guys get, you could do that, but it rides all right. And you guys can see the bellies, put a bell on each of these and three, same thing here. I was kind of watching this. I was thinking about putting one more strap right here, but it seemed like it did all right. But you can see there's more small pieces up there. And then we just put three back here. So that's three straps there. That's seven. 11, 15, 19. <laughs> so you got 19 straps, plenty enough uh, to secure this. So you guys can see like this little bundle right here, you could do two straps like over there and put 20. I think that's what my, my friend did, Scott, but we're here at 11 o'clock and uh, they still got this truck here. Uh, and there's another truck over there. And then you got this guy here. So I don't think they're going to take us until 12. But we'll see. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get this unstrapped pretty quick. We're about an hour and a half early. So <coughs> hopefully. But if not, it's fine. But uh, all right. I'm going to get this unstrapped. All right, you guys. We got unstrapped. Uh, when you come to uh, like Lowe's or Home Depot, you got like a lumber load like that. Uh, you can take all the straps off. But when you have like a high load with a bunch of different pipes, I always leave one in the middle on all these uh, that one i can take off if i wanted to but i'm gonna leave it there because you don't want this to uh you don't know how far back you're going and you don't want this to tip because being what one two three four five six seven eight nine high and you're going to try to ride with that you can tell it's already leaning a little bit from here you try to take all the straps off this shit and you make a turn this will come down so i always tell people if you have charlotte pipe uh if it's kind of like this high just keep a strap in the middle if you got lumber or shingles just take all the straps off so it's been raining but since i got here it stopped raining so uh, i'm gonna get this finished up i hope they'll take us here pretty soon what's up everyone we're here in Am amberdeen washington uh, it's a pretty big city here we got some food uh, we're gonna shut down here for the night. I have no more hours. Uh, and then probably tomorrow I'll try to hit the Flying J. Uh, just know I'm gonna have a load this weekend. I made a really big mistake and that'll be on the next video. Uh, right now I'm just laughing it off, but right now I feel really stupid. So uh, that'll be for the next video. Uh, so I appreciate everybody watching. I'm gonna go get some eat and drink <laughs> and try to drown my sorrows away from this. So. I'll see you guys on the next video. Like I've always said in the videos, if you guys think about coming to Prime, please reach out to me. Got, uh, I have my recruiter number down. He's one of the best recruiters. He can answer all your questions. Um, and if you feel like you still have more questions to ask me, always feel free to reach out. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe, peace out.